the challenge for us is because we are a government funded not-for-profit organisation is trying to reduce our overheads as best we can and so we looked into adding solar panels to our roof for that very purpose and it has cut our electricity bill by 50% but it's still $2,000 a quarter. So it's an area where we would really like to reduce our overheads and I'm sure it's a significant problem for many organisations around here but also for residents. The price of power has been going up and people notice that. But the other area where I think they definitely need help is simply in reading and understanding their power bills. They don't understand what's different between controlled load power and off-peak power. And they don't understand what's the difference between controlled load one, which really only offers them power in the middle of the night, and controlled load two, which also gives them a power boost during the day, which they may or may not need. We had a series of energy workshops recently connected with our Seniors Week program and there was one lady that I chatted to who her, she and her partner had split up and she was now in a one person household and yet her electricity bills had gone up. Just lacking that information about where energy is used around your home and what are your options to bring your bills down. Well, in this community, uh, I mean, we're trying to make it a community exercise so that uh, excess energy produced by somebody else can be redistributed within the community and used by others. Why we can't just throw an extension lead over the fence and give that extra power to my neighbour to use is just, that defies my logic completely. A lot of, a lot of people I get uh, into these sustainable lifestyles and the cost of connecting up is why they end up going off, trying to go off the grid. So they all want to look at reducing their cost and running cost. The gas has gone up, the electricity has gone up. We can't just have a price increase and make the coffee $5.60. It doesn't work like that. We've just had to absorb it and keep on smiling. <laughs>